Hey guys, Ike here from Ike'sOutdoors.com. I'm here today to talk to you guys about finding deer trails. Um, I'm going to show you an obvious deer trail, and then I'm going to show you one that's not so obvious, and show you the best ways of finding these deer trails. Um, as you can see behind me, we got some tall grass. You can see right through the middle of it, right here, we have a trail that comes right down. That is a really obvious way to find your deer or your deer trails. Something's been walking through here. You know something's been walking through here just by looking at how the grass is knocked down right there in that central area. So you also have a lot of deterrence um, to keep the deer from going other directions. You got a tree that's down there and over here I've got a, a wash that uh, naturally funnels the deer right up here. So I've got an obvious trail right here. I'm going to show you another obvious trail that's behind us. This one's probably even a little bit more obvious. You can see as it goes right down here, not only is the grass uh, knocked down right there in that area, it's also uh, knocked down right through here. So another obvious deer trail. This is the kind of place where you want to put your, tra your trail camera um, and maybe if you get enough deer sign right here, obviously you're going to want to put your tree stand here eventually. But this is a good way to find a tra uh, trail is just by looking. This is one of my heaviest traveled uh, deer trails that I have and you can see it from you can see it pretty easily but that is a deer trail a deer run whatever you want to call it that's a deer trail and that's a really really obvious one so uh, next thing we're going to show you I'm going to show you where they're crossing this at and show you what to look for uh, there in the gravel areas and around a creek bank and stuff like that okay so this is another area that's actually pretty easy to find where the deer have been crossing um, this is a dried up creek bed here there's a spring back there that does put a little bit of water into this area um, another obvious way reason why I started looking here is because I've got trees all through there and all big brush back there again trees all through there and all big brush right back there this spot is actually pretty open so when I come over here to check out and see where the deer are crossing at obviously this was my first area that I came to look for so now that I'm down in here and I found this area because this is dry or because this is wet it's pretty easy to tell that the deer have been crossing here I've got tracks right here I've got a track right there and I've got tracks going up the bank over here you can see where the deer have actually been going up into this area right here and disturbing the soil as they're going up the hill now when this was dry it's not so easy to tell that the deer have been in there you'll still get that kind of stuff like that but the other thing that you're going to get is when this is dry is they're actually just going to step down into this gravel and they're going to leave just a little bit of an imprint there and they're going to scuff the gravel up and they're going to leave just little telltale signs like that but the biggest area to help when this is dry is that bank right there as they walk across they're going to go up that bank and they're going to loosen that that dirt i'm not saying that other other animals aren't going to do that obviously there's going to be other animals that are going to come come through here coyotes uh groundhog, squirrels, stuff like that that are going to come through here. But on that bank over there when it's real dry, it gives you some indication that a deer or something is traveling through here. And again, it's a good place to put your trail camera and see what's actually coming through. So this is an area that's a little bit harder to find where the deer are actually coming through because the deer are coming through here and actually spreading out. They're not actually forming a trail. The reason for that, there's nothing here to impede them and nothing here to keep them from to funnel them down onto a certain trail. When they hit this, they can really just about go anywhere. So now here the signs are a little bit more subtle, but it's still basically the same signs. You can see right here, there's just the faintest uh, glimmer of a trail there and right off this direction the same way. There's just a real uh, faint trail that you can see where the grass has been, grass has been pushed over, it's been knocked down, it's been stepped on. Um, it's just a nice uh, faint little trail uh, not much of an indication you're really just looking at the natural sign all the other grass is nice and tall and you got just a small area where the deer have passed through and they've broken the blades of grass or they've trampled them down under their feet so these areas are really hard to find and these are the areas where I use my trail cameras the most um, the areas that I showed you before real easy to tell that there's a deer running through there now this area I know there's deer running through here, but you can see on that tree right back there, I have a trail camera. This is an area where I will really leave, uh, really use a trail camera and really leave one uh, that can cover a, a good area. 
to tell where the deer are coming and where they're going through this is a hard area to find a deer trail it's not as obvious and they can really go anywhere because there's nothing to funnel them down to a a real point to uh, indicate a trail I want some really uneven terrain so I can't use the camera uh, the tripod here so I'll do the best I can to keep this steady um, this is a trail that is not quite as obvious as you go up here you can see it kind of forms into a trail and uh, you can kind of see it but what you're really looking for in situations like this where you're in a lot of leaf coverage and stuff like that and not a lot of grass is you're going to be looking at the leaves um, you can see down here these areas like this right here the leaves are disturbed you can tell the leaves have been kicked back you can tell that there's a little bit of uh, there's been something walking through here there's no different than you taking your foot and making a drag mark like that you can see that the deer have been walking through here now you come to an area like this this is an area that's undisturbed so the deer are not going that direction you can see you got more areas right here where the uh, you can see the dirt there and you can see the leaves have been kind of kicked back and then you get up here again you can see the leaves aren't laying flat they're just laying a little bit unnatural you can see some hoof prints here you can see some areas there where there's been an impression something that went down into the ground right here is a real obvious sign where they're getting ready to cross step over that limb you can see right here where they really kick stuff back as they walk up this hill so that's a, a, a trail that's not quite as obvious now as you look up the hill you can just see it I mean you can just see the trail right here and you can see where it curves back again this leads right to one of my tree stands and this is an area where I'm gonna have a trail camera okay so this is one of the most obvious trails that you're gonna find this is an old logging road you can see easy to see but do not overlook this and don't think the deer aren't going to travel this this logging road in my truck is actually right behind the camera right now um, this logging road goes all the way out of this place all the way to the end so it just cuts right down through this thing and I got another one that cuts right across there the ground blind that I put up in a couple of videos uh, a couple other videos in the past is right there I got a tree stand right over there and I'm gonna put another one right over there so this um, logging road is an awesome area to catch deer coming across um, it's also and this one just kind of works out this way it may not always but this is also a great way to find a big buck because during the rut this uh, logging road has I'm looking at a primary trail this way I've got trails up there that shoot off of it there are a ton of trails that shoot off of it and what a big mature buck's gonna do during the rut is he's gonna start whatever end of it uh, that he beds at and he's gonna make his way right down this logging road and what he's gonna be doing when he goes down this road is he's going to be scent checking every one of these trails every one of these trails that he comes across he's gonna be going down them he's gonna be scent checking for a doe that is going in one of these directions so he's looking for a doe to breed and this is an easy way for him to cover all these trails uh, the big 12 point that I killed last year was on the other side of the property right on a logging road he was coming right down the logging road actually he went behind me come right down the logging road behind me and went past me and I was able to rattle him back in but what he was doing was he was on the logging road behind me and he was cross-checking all of these trails and he was looking for a hot doe and I was just lucky enough to be able to rattle him back in because there's so many other bucks in this area he thought there was a buck that was going to be uh, trying to take his doe from him so this is a great area these logging roads are great areas to get on uh, not only deer but also on mature deer so when it comes to finding trails they're critical that's the key to killing a deer is to be on the right trail and finding those trails utilize not only your common sense but utilize your trail cameras utilize uh, any skill that you can look for those trails the obvious ones look for tracks look for look for scat look for uh, Look for beds. There's off like when we got down in that tall grass, there was beds down in there. So look for broken glass. Look for leaves that have been pushed or broken glass, broken grass. Look for leaves that have been pushed back. And as you get to doing this, and as you get more experience in the woods, you'll be able to just see these roads or these trails. Those trails will be as obvious to you as this road is right here that we're on now. So after a little bit of uh, 
experience, the inner trapper, the inner frontiersman, the inner mountain man in you will come out and you'll be able to cut the sign and you'll be able to find these trails really, really easy. So there's just a few pointers on finding them. Uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check us out on Facebook. For more product reviews, how-to videos, be sure to check out our website, ikesoutdoors.com. Appreciate you guys watching.